Oh. Do people in Iceland eat this? Oh yeah. For fun. All right guys, so we're at the disgusting food museum in Malmö, Sweden, where they have narrowed down the 80 most disgusting foods in the world. And we're gonna eat some of them. A lot of them. Here we go. All right, so are you ready to try? I am ready to try, yeah. yeah. All right, so let's start easy with a little cricket. A little cricket? Yes, it's like a little grasshopper. All right. So it tastes a bit like hard bread. Relatively easy taste-wise, yeah. not really too much. No? Flavor. Where do these come from? These are all from Thailand. All of our insects are from Thailand, mm. uh, but they are bred in, in Europe as well. Mm. Uh, they're all about, say, 65% or so protein. Uh, much better for the environment, less greenhouse gases, nice. less water use, less land use, and they don't have the same sort of uh, nervous system, so they can't feel pain in the same way that other oh, animals wow. have. Oh, wow. Yeah. So. The meat of the future. I've had those before in Thailand, yeah. so that wasn't, that wasn't terrible. No, that's pretty easy. Yeah, it tastes almost like a nutty flavor to it. So next up we have some buffalo worms. This buffalo like worms. Worm. Buffalo worms. All right. Do you like these? They are pretty nice, yeah. I make like a hard bread, like uh, seeds and some of these make a pretty nice hard bread. Wow. Not much flavor. Really. Not much flavor. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah? Yeah, that's not as bad as I thought. No, it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, we can keep going on the nuttiness. Oh, okay. So, uh, this is a silkworm pupae. Yeah. This is a bit more like a roasted walnut. Roasted walnut. Down the hatch. <laughs> that one's my least favorite. Yeah? That one looks least like a bug out of yeah. those yeah. three. So it it's also my favorite. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it could be something you eat in a yes. movie theater or yeah, something. Exactly. So I'm guessing you had this before, but uh, yeah. you're not escaping it. No. <laughs> you're, when in Sweden, you have to eat things in tube. Absolutely. We yeah. love our tubes. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. Pretty good on some bread or some eggs. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Oh. It's the aftertaste that gets me. So next up we have the durian fruit. Durian, so, my old friend, my old nemesis durian. Oh, it's nice. Oh. So take the whole stick. Oh, thank you. So it tastes a bit like mango and onion mix. Yeah, yeah. Have you smelled this before now yet? Do you want to smell it? No? It's like an oniony fruit, right? Mm. So when I had it before, it was warm. That is much better cold. Cold is better. Cold is much and better. And I already smell it now after you tried it. For most people, it smells better after you tried it. You it, smell more of the fruitiness. It does smell better after you try it. it when does. I had it in uh, Malaysia, right. it was like uh, gym socks. Yeah. 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 Not bad. All right, I'm doing okay. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Yeah. Five down on the You're gauntlet. Down, uh, about quarter. So, century, century eggs. eggs. So these are preserved duck eggs from China. Yeah. You preserve them in ash, clay, quick lime, and salt for mm. about three months. I have some friends in China and I go visit them and I've always avoided eating these until today. They're not so bad. How long do they ferment them? Three months. Three months? Yeah. That's not bad either. Nothing here is that bad, to well, be honest. That's what we're trying to tell people. Yeah. It's, it's easier to judge it because mm. Disgust is about uh, protecting us from things that could be dangerous, could mm. be poisonous. So yeah. when you see this egg, your brain is telling you, don't eat this, this could kill you, mm. because you're not used to it, right? Once yeah. yeah. you're used to it, you learn to associate it with a good flavor. Yeah. So Definitely. it's not actually too bad. It's more the visual component than the taste. Mm. That's interesting that we're conditioned to yeah. like 
Yeah. Things. It's a universal emotion that exists in every culture in the world. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've had friends that have visited me from China, and they think things like mac and cheese and stuff like that is disgusting. And I'm yeah. like, how can you think macaroni and cheese is disgusting? <laughs> That's not a world I want to live in. <laughs> so Vegemite and Marmite, you get one of each. You can compare them. This is a sandwich bread from Australia and from the UK. Nice. So very salty, a lot of umami. Mm. Uh, usually eaten on toast. Yeah. Relatively thinly. With a little butter? Or but butter little? as well, yeah. All right, so here's a veggie mite. This is an Australian one. Australian, yeah. That is strong. Super salty. But not bad. No, Doesn't no, taste no. bad. It's super salty. Marmite, also very salty. A slight hint of liquid. Yeah. The face is because of the salt, not the flavor. No, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just super salty. So what some people do is they think it's going to taste like Nutella mm. and they put it on really thick yeah. and then it's really horrible. Mm. Where do you fall on the Australian, UK, Marmite, Vegemite debate? Which one I prefer? Which one do you prefer? I prefer Marmite a bit. Uh, root beer. Root beer. Uh, this one I know. So this is the only thing that no one has ever bought from. So of course. We had a couple of those ones. Yeah. We had a couple of people who were super close. See, that tastes like home to me. I'm yeah. from the Midwest in Ohio. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah people yeah. have almost vomited it off of having a We had a couple of people that were really close. Some oh, people huh. think it's the worst out of it. Wow. That's amazing yeah. to me. All right, so this is a British cheese, the Stinking Bishop. The Stinking Bishop. It's not uh, named after the occupation, but rather a nasty old man that was very angry and smelly, uh, close to where this was made. I just got my first whiff of it, yeah. So if you smell it, yeah. this smells like a dead body that's yeah. been laying around for two weeks. Heard from police officers, morticians, nurses, people that know. They all say the same. Really? Oh yeah. I mean, I've never smelled a two-week-old dead body, but, Me neither, but but all right, let's do it. I think this might be a tough one. Taste-wise, it's not so bad. The smell is horrendous. Taste-wise, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the smell. The smell is horrendous. The smell is the worst part. Yeah. A Danish cheese. Oh, yeah, that has a bite good. after it. Has a bite from <laughs> compared to this. One. Oh. So I'll give you a bit extra here. So you can <laughs> Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> This one smells better than that one. It does, but it tastes strong. Mm. Like the first one was relatively mild. This one is much more, much more than a kick to it. So far, oh, the kick is coming. Oh yeah. Oh. Now, it's just too strong. It is very strong. Yeah, it's matured for about three and a half years. So it's it's uh, it's like you take a very mature parmesan and mix it with like a Swiss Gruyere or something like that. Mm. Again, it doesn't taste bad. It's no. just too strong. It's just super strong, yeah. Wow. All right. So now we're getting up to Sukalu. Wow. This is the cheese where uh, you take a baby goat, you let it drink from its mother, then you slaughter it, cut out the fourth stomach, the abomasum, and then you make a cheese inside the stomach. Okay. So this one has a uh, distinct uh, taste of, of goat cheese and blue cheese to start with. Mm. And then the aftertaste is a bit vomity. Why do they have to make the cheese in the fourth stomach? So, uh, well, the fourth stomach is where you have the enzyme that breaks uh, down the, the milk into mm. the kind of the, the cheese mass and the, and the whey. Yeah. So still today, we make cheese with rennet, right? Mm. Rennet is enzyme from calf stomachs. Yeah. So it's made in this, exactly the same way, or the chemical reaction is the same, mm. because only the young animals have this kind of, of enzyme in the stomach. Perfect. All right, let's try it. Starts off pretty, pretty good. Yeah, now it's coming. The aftertaste is coming. The aftertaste has come. Okay. Quite vomity, right? Yeah, it's, it's getting worse. Oh yeah, yeah. First time I had it, I had six like really big pieces, and then I had an aftertaste for three days. Afterwards. Three days. Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> You're a trooper, man. 
All right, so we have some sauerkraut juice, fermented cabbage. Okay. A little bit like pickle juice that you might be familiar with. Oh, if it's pickle juice, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit like that. It's just with uh, cabbage instead of pickles. I could drink that, actually. Yeah. I could drink that. Yeah. That one was my favorite. <laughs> so we've had vomit from this as well. This yeah. is uh, quite a special taste that, I mean, if you like sour, it's pretty mm. good. If you don't like sour, it's pretty terrible. Yeah. See, I like sour, so that's good. Yeah. Is it also, some of the vomit could be in the order, like you go from that cheese to that? Yeah, and for that. some people, the vomit taste kind of gets strengthened by the sour bread juice. For mm. some, it gets neutralized. Oh, so okay. A bit of so, a little Just dung to... beetle. A dung beetle. All right, a dung beetle. It lives in poop, but it's safe to eat. It... I, yeah. Oh my God. And then I saw what we're going to. Oh yeah. Uh, get a big one for you. This is going to be the hard one for me. Yeah. This is, this is, this is the hard one. It doesn't really taste bad, honestly, but it's, it's big. It's, it's, yeah. it's so big. You're going to have to shoot for quite a while. It's like the, the shooting gum of insects. Kind of. All right. Let's just pretend we're on Survivor. This is a June beetle. Don't think about two bites or one bite. What do you find is better? Pop it in. Just, just pop it in. Yeah, just go for it. It doesn't taste bad. No, it doesn't. It's just a little bit. Yeah. I take that back. It tastes a little bit bad. I think I'm chewing a wing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, every now and then. Mm. It's almost done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it takes a while. <laughs> mm. Did it. So this is a Haukant. This is a fermented shark from Iceland. Oh, this is the one I, that I saw on the website that I was like, I don't know if... Uh... So this kind of shark is a Greenland shark. It, uh, it doesn't have a urinary tract, so it urinates through the skin. It's like sweating urine. So the flesh is full of urine. Mm. So if you smell it, you can smell the ammonia smell of like old urine. It smells like urine. Yeah, it does. Fermented shark, but it smells like urine. It's a bit rubbery. It's rubbery. Yeah, you have to shoot while well as well. Not as bad as beetle, but yeah. it's definitely a... Uh... I think if I had to choose, even though this one has more flavor, I would choose this over that. Yeah, yeah. You get an ammonia taste in your mouth you do, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, The bigger the piece, the more you get of it, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a, a shitty cod. So, still swimming. Okay. This is the thing that ma makes the most people vomit. Okay. Uh, this is uh, responsible for about half of all vomits we've ever had. Really? And I get two pieces oh, of it. You. Oh, wow. Guy. So <laughs> Thank I, I you. Working. What's this made out of? Herring. Fermented herring. How long is it fermented? It's fermented for about six months and then it keeps on fermenting in the cab. And we, we always keep it for a bit longer, so this is last year's batch. So the longer you ferment it, the stronger the taste gets and the better it gets according to soul stomach kind of source. That was the key. Last year's batch was the sentence. Oh, yeah. The only sentence there that I was like, oh. <laughs> All right. Should I smell it first? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, it smells like dirty into me a little bit. Yeah, actually. some people say that. So it smells a lot less now than when you open the can. So mm. most of the smell is, is in like the air that's been uh, that that sprays out the air and, and liquid that sprays out when you open it. Okay, all right, you ready? Here we go. The thing that makes most people vomit. Oh, let's really enjoy it. 
This is from Sweden. It's also very salty. Super salty. Not too bad though, right? I mean, compared to the reputation, so. Mm. And how do Swedish people eat this? Just like that, or do they put it no, on? No, usually they put it on some flatbread, red okay. potatoes, red onions, sour ah, cream, dill. I see. Uh, that makes it a lot easier. Yeah, this, uh, I know. We have some salty licorice from Iceland. This is not your normal salty licorice. I'll, I'll give you. It's nice not the. I would have been happy with two pieces before you said it's not your normal salty licorice. This All is right. called Lacris Jebla. It's licorice devils. Licorice devils. Oh yeah. Tell us all. Oh! Do people in Iceland eat this? Oh yeah. For fun! And this is the thing that most people in the museum buy to, to bring along home. It's uh, very well loved by pretty much all of our Swedish visitors. He just ate three of them. Absolutely. <laughs> Nadia, it's salt, salty. It tastes good after that initial salt kick burns. It does, yeah. If you grow up with it, you're looking for that burn. The more the burn you get, the better it is. Mm. Do you like it? We love it, right? Amazing. <laughs> this is um, Agua de Bolivia Diablo. This is a coca leaf liqueur. Coca leaf. So all the um, uh, the kind of cocaine alkaloids have been removed, so it doesn't make you high. That's it's good. Perfectly safe to, to drink. Pretty tasty. Yeah, not terrible. This one I think is even better. That was about the 20% alcohol. This is 30. This is a nice and herby and uh, that's really tasty. So Nice. It's also a cocoa leaf. Yeah, they're both from the same manufacturer. It's just slightly different. Wonderful. Variation, so yeah. All right. Doesn't have much smell. For a, it doesn't have like an alcohol burn smell. No, no, no. It's pretty, doesn't taste like 30%. Wow. That's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So then we have uh, Jepson's Molot. This is from Chicago, uh, but it's made by a uh, Swedish alcohol manufacturer called Jepson. Well, he emigrated to the US mm. and he had been smoking like three, four packs of cigarettes every day. Oh my God. So his taste buds were like dead. Shot. He didn't taste anything at all. Yeah. So he needed something really nice and strong to, to really taste. A lot of bitterness. That one kicks. Oh yeah. That one kicks. And the last one is uh, Swedish. This is Bavahoit. Bavahoit. So this is beaver anal gland alcohol. Beaver anal, anal, anal gland alcohol. Anal gland of a beaver, put it in some vodka, leave it there for a couple of months and then you drink it, that's it. Beaver anal gland vodka. So smell it. Does it. It doesn't smell like anal gland. <laughs> it smells like, you know, pine and wet fur and a bit of... It does smell like must. Yeah. Pretty or, complex uh, taste for only two ingredients. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it didn't taste bad. No, but it's a lot of flavor. It's a lot of flavor from that anal gland. Very really multifaceted, right? Yeah, that's insane. Why do they make it from an anal gland? That's the only thing that gives it this wonderful flavor. Wow. Yeah, yeah I'm okay with spicy, but the labels make me think. Oh yeah. I've not. So I'm, I bet you've seen hot ones, right? Oh yeah. So this is their own chili, uh, chili sauce. Uh, this is the one they, they end with there. This the last the dab? Because this is the easiest here. It's a nice flavor to it. That is a good flavor. But it is pretty strong. I got it on the tip of my tongue, which I now realize is a huge mistake. <laughs> oh, it's equally bad no matter where you put it. Just if you put it too far back, it makes it. Easier. So with the alcohol and the hot sauce, I'm going to be breathing fire. Oh, yeah. So this one uh, is about the same, about one and a half million Scoville. 
Uh, they're both pretty intense. You know, on hot ones, I'm always like, come on, you guys, you can do this. And I've just had a little bit oh, yeah. of that. And now I'm like, I understand. Oh, that one has a uh, much more acid. Yeah. And much more hellfire. This is hellfire. Oh, yeah. Yep, we can keep going. I can do this. Uh, we did the chili sauces. Now we get to chili extracts. Extracts are much worse than chili sauces of the same things, right? Okay, so how many Scoville units is this? this only 135,600, but it that tastes sounds like, like much more than one and a half million you had in this. Okay. I'm starting to sweat now. Oh yeah, that's normal. Yeah. You haven't started crying yet though, but that comes later. Okay. <laughs> the, the one you just tried, they have a lot of this, yeah. Yeah. But oh yeah, that one, that, yeah, the bomb. But not the last one. Oh, this, is, <laughs> this, is a, this is the hardest part. Oh, don't worry, you're gonna, it's gonna get worse. After this, this is this the worst. This is much worse. This is pure pain. Like you, this one will make you suffer. You know what makes me nervous about this one? Every other one we had a nice yeah. long spoon. All right. And you put some on there. This one, you put on a toothpick. Oh. Be careful, don't get on your, um, make sure to throw it away right after you take it. Because if you get it on your fingers, uh, just put it here. Because if you get it on your fingers and then touch your eyes, you will go temporarily blind. So, so don't do that. All right, let's hold it way down here. All right, three, two, one. Oh man, nose is running, eyes are watering. I'm gonna uh, this one. Uh, thing, thank you so much. Oh, okay, on a scale of one, not uh, awful. That is a uh, that's the hottest thing I've ever had. I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is. Uh, <laughs> are we on hot ones right now? <laughs> is this a prank? Uh, oh, that is. The final answer, like yeah. it's called, that is uh It's just pure pain. There's nothing good about it. It's just painful. It doesn't, my mouth. Oh yeah, feels, it lasts for a while. It feels like, does water help or make it worse? No, it makes it worse, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can give you some help. Uh, no, no, we'll endure it. <laughs> we'll endure it. Wow. Do you like these? These first two I like. These two I use almost daily when I cook. <sighs> I don't know if that last one was worth it. I'm still processing. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm processing. It's gonna go on for a while. Do, does everybody that come, comes through here, I'm trying to think and talk and <laughs> process, do they skip out on these? Do people often? Other people try everything, yeah. That's great. I would say something like 50, 60% try everything. Yeah. And then, is there a point where most people quit? Like the yeah, so the June Beetles. Is, that's what I was gonna uh, guess. Quit, yeah, and then uh, also like the shark and the seal swimming. Some people, uh, some people don't want to try the chili because they're really bad with strong stuff. So you know that's understandable. Yeah. If you can't handle strong stuff, this is just gonna kill you basically. Yeah, I know. I feel the. <laughs> oh man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job. <laughs> okay. Can I have a little bit of milk? Yeah. I hate to ask. Oh. 